Hello everybody, welcome back to Blackjack, I'm Blackjack Aviani, and today we have a very special episode of Pokemon Evolutions, but aren't they all, aren't they all very special? But uh, what do I mean by that? I mean we get one that's villain-centric. <laughs> uh, you know, I still haven't played Masters, but I, I got the boys. <laughs> so, um, first thing I notice here is... The visionary eyeball. I know they have an emoji in all the titles, but an eyeball. You don't think like a passionate flame or even a lion? I don't. <laughs> I guess the lion emoji is like really cartoony, but I would have gone with a flame. I mean, I know it wouldn't have fit the title as well, but an eyeball. It throws the whole thing off. The perfect world shippers are very excited about this episode, so I gotta see being a perfect world shipper myself. Uh-oh. Run! Run, little mouse, run! Hamster, whatever you are. Like I said, when we saw the trailer for this, we're going to see Lissandra die in glorious 4K. They're going to mispronounce his name again, aren't they? They're going to call him Lysander again, aren't they? Did that thing, like, aside from Ultimate Weapon, did that form of it have a name? Unusual accent. I can't tell what it is. Hi, Calum. Gerardo Striking is a very unusual choice for him. It seemed like they were kind of too bored in. Like, they spent the whole time establishing that Pyroar was his signature. And then they had his key Pokemon be Gyarados. It just kind of seemed like they were forced into that by picking the most ferocious of the ones they had pre-selected for Megas. Just one-shot that thing? No, no tantrum, no throwing the... There we go. Took a second. Oh, hey! We got your friends here! Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. Uh, youth Echo. may be beautiful, but it's not all there is to life. Everything <laughs> changes. I would make this world unchanging and eternal. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Pokemon shall no longer exist. Yes, that's one possibility, but it doesn't mean it's true. Carlos is beautiful right now. Taking I a nice walk in the flowers the together. The becoming uglier. I knew we were gonna get crying. You gotta have crying with him. Do it. I don't expect that I will ever. Make you understand how I think and feel. Why is this so strained now? It's very odd. Oh boy. The original purpose of this device was to give life, not take it. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use it once. I'm going to do what my ancestor never could, even though he slaughtered thousands. I shall grant you eternal life. I'll give you the pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. I 
I knew it. We're gonna watch him die in glorious 4K. Either that or become immortal and still get trapped under a rock slide. Why did none of the admins get a name? It's like the first time since Gen 2 Rocket that high-ranking officers didn't get a name. And if you're saying that they did, those were the scientists that got names. That's not Kalos. What exactly? Let us live forever! What, like, what point does it go to and then return? Wow, they just barely reached the end. by the news of the last week. What an odd photo. So today, I'd like to share a moment with Lysander from a different time. I knew it! I knew they were going to say his name wrong! Pokemon Malva, don't act like you weren't in on the whole well. thing. The you were the Charon the of this group. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. You have the potential to change the world. Help build a brighter tomorrow. Adieu. Malva, you were the Charon of this group. Don't pretend you weren't in on the whole thing banking on your boss's failure. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've heard of all of these people except Adin Rudd. Wait, Amberly Con- Amberly Connors?! Abridged Android 18? <laughs> that, that's who that is, right? I, I, I gotta I gotta look this up. Is that is that who that is? Who am I thinking of? Who am I thinking of if it isn't? Twilight Wings. Yes, that is abridged Android 18. Uh, <laughs> somebody, somebody, please, somebody, please do fan out of that. Okay, uh, Ed and Rudd. I'm gonna look him up. Uh, I I have to find out what that accent is. Okay. Uh, oh, he's a standout comedian in the LA area. He's also voicing in uh, Transformers, Monster Hunter, Genshin Impact. Um, uh, he's. He's Archie in Pokemon Masters. I was just saying earlier, I was just talking to myself about like the, the, some of the bosses double up on voices, like in the main anime, um, in English, Cyrus and Archie have the same actor. Uh, in Japanese, uh, Cyrus and Giovanni have the same actor. Um, I was talking about how in, um, how, uh, Giovanni and Archie have the same actor across origins and generations. So this is, this is really funny. All the actors out there and people keep doubling up on the same character. <laughs> I am probably the only person who finds this is absolutely hilarious is all this. Um... 
just... Malva, can we please stop pretending that you weren't as big a part of this as you were? I mean, you, you know why... You know why the whole online component with the, the holocaster ended so soon, right? It's because Malva took the money and ran. <laughs> she did! She, she was the last heir. The whole thing with Zero Sick, you really think she did that out of the kindness of her heart? You really think she did that because she was concerned about what he was doing? No! Zero Sick was the last contender to Lysandra's fortune. With him out of the way, she was his sole heir. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. I really want to know what that accent is. <laughs> Holly Bowen again. Awesome. And autoplay is off. It should always be off. I always turn it off. <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty good. It did my little shipper heart proud. But, uh, you know what would really be nice? What would really be nice is if they did a series that was just villain backstories. You know, they could just be like, you know, these five-minute bite-sized chunks. That'd be really nice. But the I think the problem is most of them would just be really super depressing. I mean, you'd have things like, you know, Cyrus trying to rely on his grandfather and being spurned and losing all faith in humanity. You'd have things like, you know, Mon's disappearance and Lusamine's subsequent decline into obsession and insanity and you know you might have the golf club incident with Guzma in, in case you're wondering by the way where I'm getting the pronunciation of Lissandre it's from the French version of or, or of uh, Generations and I remember at the time I, when I did a reaction to that episode initially, I had said that that's not how you say his name. I was saying it wrong, too. I was saying it um, Lysandre or something. But I knew it wasn't Lysander. It's written R-E, not E-R. <laughs> hmm. Just for, it's not centre either. It's center, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those are very different sounds. Yeah, I know, yeah, I'm American. What are you going to do with that? Uh, my goodness. Oh, my, my, my. <laughs> Just casually explaining your plan while taking a walk and some flowers. You know, I, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that the episode didn't focus on Sycamore simply because uh, his perspective is the one you get more of in the game. But either way, I'm actually kind of surprised not to see the scene in the cafe. You know, the, the one where Lysandra gives his speech about how the world is filth and all this stuff. And then Sycamore is just like, so passionate. So fiery. But that's just one perspective. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, boy, calm down. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, go talk to your boyfriend. Go grow some semblance of a spine and go talk to him. Do not send Cena and Dexio. I know they're pretending to be superheroes and that's kind of cool, but they are not going to talk to him in the way you can. All right? Uh. 
And like, I, I don't really think Sycamore was necessarily an enabler intentionally, but I think he was an enabler. Um, he, he never confronted Lissandra over any of this. And I mean, I would say it blew up on him, but that would be ironic. <laughs> blew up on one of them. <sighs> well, I, I should probably go. It's actually after two and I haven't eaten yet, so. Uh, <laughs> I, uh. You know, do something today to make this world a little more beautiful, yeah? Do something to make it a little more beautiful. Until next time, I am Blackjack Aviani, and, uh. Let us die young or let us live forever. We don't have the power, but we never say never. 